great ball, Dennis. Shame your parents can't afford one of these. What? And look like a complete muppet. <laughs> Let's test the rocket overdrive, Masher. I suppose you think that's funny, do you? Oh, oh, I, I, oh. oh no! But Dennis, what exactly have you done to deserve a new skateboard? Uh, there must be something. No, dear, there isn't. But I do have an idea. It's your school prize giving soon. Prize giving? Yes. Where Walter's parents always look down their noses at us because he wins everything. Now, if you want something for a change... You get me a new skateboard, right? I was going to say it would just be so lovely for us all. And you get me a new skateboard? Dennis, if you win a prize, I'll happily buy you this. The very best skateboard in the catalogue. Wow! But what could you get a prize for? You haven't done very much work, have you, Dennis? There must be one I can win. It won't be easy, Dennis. To be quite honest with you, if you can pull this off, I'll eat my hat. <laughs> Morning, Mrs Creature. How about a nice juicy apple to get your day off to a cracking start? All right, Dennis. What's your game? No game, miss. Here. I'll take that. Oi! I want to carry it for you. What? Please. Oh! I thought you might like some flowers from my garden. Oh, Dennis, I feel a little faint. Oh, let me help you to your chair. Good morning, Mrs. Creature. I brought you a flower. <laughs> oh, that's kind, dear. Uh, put it in there with the ones Dennis brought. <laughs> Heavens, Dennis. If you keep this up, you'll be a contender for the Good Behaviour Prize. How else am I going to get this skateboard? Good behaviour's the only prize you don't need top grades for. But you'll never beat Walter at sucking up to Mrs Creature. <laughs> <laughs> you never spoke a true word. I thought you might like two apples today, Mrs Creature. Or would you prefer a bowl of delicious fruit salad? Ooh. Might one carry all the leaves for you, Mrs Creature? No need for that. My men will carry you and your bag straight to the classroom. <laughs> Dennis means business. We have to stop him. What are we going to do, Walter? Overwhelm him with superior firepower. Nobody beats me at sucking up. Morning, Mrs Creature. Thought you might like tea and toast today. Or maybe you prefer to choose from a selection of freshly baked pastries and ground continental coffee. Cappuccino or latte? It's prize giving today, but old creature still won't say who's ahead. Yes, yes, yes. Still, at least there'll be loads of food afterwards. <laughs> Tell you what, I'll try and bring you back some sausages. <laughs> so, may the best man win, eh? No doubt who that is, Walter. Face it, Dennis. 
It would take a miracle for you to beat me. Ah, uh, boys. I'd like you to meet our guest speaker, Sir Arthur Guff. Dennis and Walter are the front runners for the Good Behaviour Prize. Is that so? Well, he's the hooligan who knocked me over in the park the other day. Walter, is this true? It, it, it was an accident, miss. And then he ran away. You can't give him the Best Behaviour Prize. He's a disgrace to the school. Well, it was neck and neck, but that settles it. Dennis, the prize is yours. What? Yes! Town's most distinguished manufacturer of plastic coated string. <clears throat> if life has taught me one thing, it is that to succeed in life, you need a good piece of string. <clears throat> now, many people will tell you that string has no personality. Eh? Nothing could be further from the truth. special prize for outstanding individual achievement and it goes to Dennis we're so proud of you Dennis this is the happiest day of our lives we're going straight from here to the shops to buy you that skateboard. Thanks, Dad. But weren't you going to eat your hat as well? <laughs> Have this one, dear. I'm tired of it. <laughs> oh. Oh, thanks very much, dear. Bit chewy. OK, Nasha. Prepare to meet 
The Fleaminator! Are you sure this will work? Of course. Like the catalogue says, it's anti-flea science in a high-tech appliance. <laughs> Just a touch more power to pick up the stragglers. <laughs> Is that supposed to happen? Not according to the manual. <laughs> Sorry, but that dog will have to stay out of my lovely clean house until his fleas have gone. For good! Oh, don't worry, Nasha. Dad'll find a way. <laughs> All right, class. That's enough for today. It's always just warming up. Dennis, now before you go, I have an announcement to make regarding the school dance competition. Dance competition? Blech. This year, Athena's father, Mr. Uh, uh, Rat Bucket Kane, has kindly donated an award. Oh, Rat Bucket! All oh, hail the King of Rock bass players! And as well as helping me judge the contest, Athena will be presenting the prize to the winner. I will win. It's my destiny. Please tell me that's a joke. I can dance. Well, if you can dance, Pie Face, you must know these moves. <laughs> And you've got to know this one. It's the latest thing. Oh, yeah. But, well, I... Uh... <laughs> Him! Dance! I don't think so. <laughs> Dancing is about graceful movement, elegance and finesse. If Pie Face won, I'd... I'd eat my socks. <laughs> <laughs> A sock swallowing Walter. Now that I've got to see. <laughs> Well, you better bring your knife and fork to the dance then, cos Pie Face is going to win. And you know why? Do tell. Because he's got the best dance teachers on the planet. Who oh, really? And who would they be? Me and Nasha. All right, Pie Face, we'd better go back to basics. Anything done. As long as I get to win, I mean, backstage passes for a rap bucket concert. Wow. Hey, if I'd known that was a prize, I'd have gone in for it myself. But meanwhile, we've got to make sure you win. Yeah. Well, I reckon I should do I know. It. Disco. I'll add Dennis and Nasha. Some heavy rock. <laughs> right, Pie Face. There's three dances you could do. What do you think? Oh, great. Now, what are we going to do? <laughs> Good idea, Nasha. We'll check out the opposition. Attention, dancers. At the sound of the music. Dance! Lift, right, lift, right. You there, keep it up. But, but these metal tip shoes are so heavy, sir. Never mind the shoes. What's our motto? The harder, the harder we, we work, work our feet, feet the harder we'll be to beat. beat. Uh-oh. The Colonel's got Walter and his pals dancing like a well-drilled platoon. Pie Face is going to have his work cut out to beat them. This new flea magnetizer will do the trick, Nasha. All we have to do is give the fleas a puff of magno dust <laughs> and then turn on the magnetizer. <laughs> Victory! It's starting to work. Cool! Let's pump up the power. Uh, no, Dennis. <laughs> oh, too much power! Maybe it's time to wake Pie Face for his next lesson? Dennis! Oh. Right, Pie Face. Which dance then? The dance I want to do. My granddad taught it me when I was a kid. Oh, 
Oh, OK. What is it, then? The Dance of the Seven Pies. The what? Oh, I'll show you. Give me some music, Curly. a fighting fit, Mrs. Creature. They'll beat anything the enemy can throw at them. Well, we'll find out very shortly, Colonel. The dance contest is about to begin. Now to give Pieface a little extra help. I'll just give Walter and his pals dancing shoes a blast of magno dust. <laughs> so they respond to Dad's magnetizer. And Pieface will be all set to win. Where have you been? I thought you'd gone home. What? I missed me star pupil picking up his prize. Don't worry, Pieface. You and me are going to be front row at the Rat Bucket gig. And now to our first contestants. Let's hear a big hand for... Walter, Bertie and Dudley. <laughs> Uh-oh. They look like they know what they're doing. Like I say, Pieface, don't worry about a thing. Shoulders back, keep a stiff upper lip, and dance. What's wrong with you chaps? Dance, dance, that's an order. We can't. Our feet are stuck. <laughs> Not for long. <laughs> Do steps on part of our routine? Neither are these. <laughs> Supposed to happen. Thank you, Walter, Bertie, and Dudley. That will certainly take some beating for originality. Oh, great. Right, Nasha. <laughs> this automatic flea seeking comb will definitely do the trick. And as soon as we're done, you can go and see Dennis at the school dance contest. Right. Lock and load. Those fleas are doomed. <laughs> Nasha! <laughs> Nasha! <laughs> come back! And now, for the final contestant tonight... It's Pie Face with the Dance of the Seven Pies! We're going to need a miracle to win now! <laughs> Nasha! <laughs> <laughs> Fleas detected. Subject clear. Well done, Nasha! It looks like you and Dad finally beat the fleas after all. Hey, what's going on? <laughs> wow! What kind of dance is that? That? Oh, that's... Uh, the flea! The flea? Yeah, it's the latest thing. You must have heard of it. It's in all the magazines. Oh, yeah, right, the flea. I do it all the time. It's cool. That's it. You've got it. Come on, everybody, join in. Let's all do the flea. <sighs> well, after that amazingly inspiring display, I'm sure we're all agreed that there can only be one winner of this year's dance contest. I'm happy to present first prize. Four VIP backstage passes to the Rat Bucket concert to... Pirates! <laughs> 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 Here are our dancing shoes, Colonel. We won't be needing them anymore. Better take your socks off too, Walter. I'll be tasty with a little ketchup. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> a whole year 
we've waited for them to do the parkour. It's got to be the most amazing park in the world. Yeah, imagine all the brilliant slides and roundabouts you could build in a year. Yeah, maybe they've got water slides and, and a roller coaster. Yay! <laughs> Hang on, where's all the fun stuff? Where's my roller coaster? Maybe the play park's been moved cos it's so big and great. Ah, well, we're here now. Might as well make the best of it. Hooray! <laughs> on me head, pie face! I got it, I got it! Come on, this way! Hey, over to me! Oi, you lot! Can't you see the sign? No ball games! We're just playing, mister. I'm not going to win Park of the Year with scruffs like you around. We're just having a bit of fun. I said no ball games. Ah, no one messes with Parky Bowls. Cooey, Dennis! Isn't it lovely, Dennis? Look at these daisies be picked for me. Daisies? Please! <gasps> This is just lovely, isn't it? <laughs> Dance your game, Dennis. Don't push your luck. Chess in the park. Rally the troops. Fire cannons. Boy, what's your game? No cannons in the park. Didn't you see the sign? But I've been doing these historical reenactments for years. Everyone likes the Colonel's battles. Yes, it's a park tradition. Are those park daisies, madam? Oh, um, um... No battles! I'm not having it! Now, clear off, or I'll have the law on a lot of you. Go on! You've not heard the last of this, you horrid little man. What a rotten day this has turned into. That rotten parky has ruined the place. Dennis, look! Hey, things are looking up. <laughs> it's all the old park stuff. The parky dumped it all. How could he? My favourite swing. Here's that dent from when I fell on the slide. They look like giant dinosaur bones, don't they, Nasha? Dinosaur bones! Hey, that gives me an idea! Come on, lads! Maybe we'll get our great day in the park after all! Whoa, it's taken all day. Well, that's the last of it, Dennis. Good! Just time to get to the park before it closes. Now, will you tell us what you're up to? Absolutely! Nasha, would you do the honours? <laughs> <gasps> it's a pond! Oh my! <laughs> it's a pond monster! <laughs> <laughs> Ten boys! <gasps> this can't happen! Not on the first day! Oh, hey, get back! Here! Can't you see the signs? <laughs> <laughs> that fixed him! Full speed ahead! <gasps> are all about. Come on, lads. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's have that football game we've waited a year for. Right then, time for kickoff. Did you see the monster, young man? Monster? Uh... Oh, hang on. There's Walter and Parky Bowles. 
Porter, how does it feel to be the only one with actual pictures of the monster? I just want to help science in any way I can. Parky Bowls, a whole year working on the park, and now everyone just wants to see the monster. Will this affect your chance of winning Park of the Year? Oh, yes, absolutely. I put my life and soul into this park. You've said you believe the monster is a hoax. Is that right? Of course it's a hoax. Come on, lads. Park is getting suspicious. Let's go. How could a giant monster exist in a pond this size without us all knowing about it, eh? Mark my words, this is the work of rival park keepers trying to spoil my park. The park's worse than ever now. Yes. Thought that with that monster scaring everyone away, I could have my Waterloo reenactment. Now all these monster hunters are here. If only that monster would come back and scare them off again. Um, I don't think that's very likely, Colonel. What's that? Well, we built the monster to show that rotten parky. You built it? Well done. Serves him right, too. Yeah, but, um, <clears throat> we crashed it in the trees. Crashed, eh? Well, we just need to mount a salvage operation, then, eh? Oh, what? Where is it? Ooh, it's freezing out here. Here ah! I am, being blended into that bush for 40 minutes. Oh, well, why didn't you see? Well, it's my personal best in blending. <laughs> Right, lads, let's get kitted out. We'll soon have this Hulk rescued from the ocean floor. What's all this stuff? Scuba gear from my Navy days. Special ops. But the monster's stuck in the trees. It's still in the water, though, isn't it? Plus, you can't have a salvage operation without scuba gear. It wouldn't be right. Why's mine got a palm tree on it? Yes. Well, uh, blending in again, you see? Never know when you'll need to hide in the palm trees. So you didn't just get the stuff on holiday, then? Let's get this monster back out of the water, shall we? Now, I know all about animals, and if there was a pond monster, it'd be a lot smaller, not the size of a whale. I've no doubt this is a ruse by jealous park keepers. Yeah, trying to trash my lovely park. Is Parky Bowls right, or are we walking into the jaws of a giant monster? Let's find out. Jeff, get the witch. <laughs> <laughs> It's too heavy. We'll never get it back in the water. Ah! We've got a bite, viewers. Good. We'll soon have evidence to expose these rotten hoaxes. Gosh, looks like you were right, Parky Bowls. It is a hoax. Deliberate sabotage, as I thought. Of course, I wasn't scared. A monster that size couldn't exist. There's simply not enough for it to eat in our pond. That was close. Come on, lads. Let's get out of here. <laughs> You're right, Nasha. We've lost the colonel. Yeah, you see? This is clearly a slide. Uh, these are swing chains. And... <gasps> What's that? As I was saying, it's just a hunk of metal. Real monsters are green and slimy, aren't they? <laughs> and for something to survive on the fish in this pond, as I said, it'd have to be much smaller. How much smaller, exactly? Well, I suppose about the size of a man. Hang on! Over there! There's something in the bushes! This tin can doesn't even have flippers! <laughs> you mean flippers like those? <laughs> yes! Exactly like that! <laughs> ah! <A monster>! <laughs> <laughs> Stay away from Beano Town Park! There are real live monsters here! Stay away from Beano Town Park! Leg it! I see. How about helping a chap out with his mask, eh? Got stuck in those weeds. <laughs> Looks like we've got our park back. And we don't need slides and swings to have fun here either. No, indeed. <laughs> Oh, that mangy cur. Scared the life out of me. Come here, you hairy little wretch. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 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 